I've got the team sheets with me. So I don't know if you want to give you any weekend. Let's go. 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 Love the game. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> show your teeth, show your teeth. <laughs> show your teeth. The, the issue we, we've got is if we can come deep from this right now, we're either not going to get pressed or we're going to drag them. If Dave comes and drags me now, we're going to string out the midfield, the opposition midfield. Nose, Jay. Um... I'm sure Josh is about to tell you this anyway, but we've kind of set up two goals here to be playing left and playing right, yeah? yeah? This is to stack left, to stack right. Basically, you two just need to be overemphasizing coming short. No sir, be looking, yo, know, side on, ready to open up into the pitch, ahead, slightly, because you, of you. You come deeper, because especially when we're down here, if Cam gets in trouble and he can find you with a fucking eight yard pass, I know you've got the ability, not just to move it into his feet, move it into Oki's feet, but find Ronnie or Isaac on a turn. And that's what we're lacking is that play through the middle. Because a couple of times you'll fucking do the long ones and they'll sit off you because they're like, he's gonna fucking blast it every time. And then you find Nosa in a, pad, in a, in a pocket or you drive it. Yeah, exactly. It's having the options so they don't know what you're gonna do all the time. That's what we've got to do. You two treat it like a pair of eights. You ready to touch? Punch now! Punch now! Jeffrey! Go to him! Right lads, see how he took it under pressure? We can fucking do that! We don't need someone in 10 acres! Fucking trust us! Between the four of you lot, there's only two of them. Someone up here in the middle here on the half turn. It was a bit far. Right, because you're not there. I've watched the footage in the game, right? On Saturday in the game, what happened is the attacking line was here, then there was a farmer's field with fuck all in it, and then you lot were over there. Yeah, but that's, that's why we're working this now. Well done. That's it. That's all I fucking wanted. There's too many different people in it's fucking seven o'clock. Jay Mott here for Stretford Paddock FC, joined as always in the commentary box by Joe Smith. Joe, looking forward to this epic game? Very much so. It's my first Rhodes Cup bit of commentary and I'm very looking forward to see the standard of exactly what's going on today. Well, it's a very high standard Stretford Paddock facing North Walkden. It is a home game, so it's at Wright Robinson College. Although looking at that badge, it looks like Stretford Paddock could be facing um, Argentina. Very Argentinian sort of roots on that badge, isn't it? Was one to look out for, maybe there's a Lionel Messi on the pitch somewhere for <laughs> Walkden today. Things could get messy on the pitch in more ways than one. This is a game that Shetford Paddock will be looking to get a result from because as we said earlier, is the Rhodes Cup 
very tight in there as well, isn't it? It's not, yeah. you know, there's all to play for. That group stage is, is very difficult. It's not one of those you can take for granted. Got to start picking up some points after a draw last week. Yeah, bit of early team news. No Akira Simmons today, which will be a big loss because he obviously bagged Paddock's two goals last week. Hamza comes in for him and you've got a midfield of Jay Phillips, Cam Waters and Nosa. So a bit of a change in the back line as James O is rested on the bench due to an injury. So Denzel comes in at fullback and Will Hobson moves in at centre-half alongside Parker. Well, Will Hobson certainly got the height to play centre-half. It's whether he's got the feet, whether he's got the nous on the ground to keep out this North Walkden side. But it's still a very strong side. Obviously, Akira will be a big miss, but there's still plenty of talent on that Stretford Paddock side today. Great to see Will Flex in his new haircut as well. I know he's very proud of that. Yeah, it's looking really good, like a sort of peaky blinder almost. He's going to have to play a blinder today to get past this North Walkden side as we kick off. And Jay Phillips plays it out straight away uh, to the right-hand side. A bit of a heavy touch there from... Hey, Cam Waters there asking okay. questions of the goal. Yeah, it son. Is. How's your touch? Just what you want in 16 seconds into the game. Yeah. Hey, blasting the ball at your goalkeeper. He did well, though. Taking it now. Oh, I tell you what. No taking, no print. Two lunging challenges there. So, referee, have a word there. No, referee no, no, literally doesn't want to know there, does he? Shaking his head. Tasty challenges, early doors. After that challenge, Zakin has gone off. I mean, I'm not surprised. They were two heavy challenges, weren't they? Yeah, really went into it twice there. A couple of, uh, couple of big challenges replaced by Ash on that left-hand side. Oh, oh, Ronaldo coming in here. Great save by the goalkeeper. Oh, can we get someone on it? No, and North Wharton FC managed to clear the lines there. And now they're on the counter. Oh, Hobson just shielding the ball. Oh, the keeper goes out. No. Oh, calamitous. And you can see in the bottom corner there, Stephen Alston's reaction. Not happy about that one, Joe. Not one to be happy about, is it? It's a really difficult ball over the top. But it looked as though it's been dealt with by Will Hobson there. The goalkeeper just comes out and seems to be caught in two minds there. Doesn't really get a clean connection. Doesn't pick the ball up. Could have took that into his hands there. Oh. Chooses to kick it. Hits Will Hobson, who at that point had defended diligently. And it hits the Walkden striker and goes in the back of the net. It's been a tricky start for Paddock, hasn't it? It has. And that's another ball over the top. North Walkden in again here. Can they make it two? No. Not the best finish there from the lad, was it, to be fair? To him on his Not left quite. foot, I don't know if that's his natural foot. I don't know didn't anything about like him. It. No, it didn't, did it, to be fair? Paddock needs to get into this game now. Still a lot of time left to play. Nothing to panic about here. Jay Phillips here on the ball. Plays it into Nosa. Playing through the middle, something that we've told has been worked on by manager Stephen Housen in the build-up to this game. So something to watch out for, certainly, how Paddock bring the ball through the thirds. But it looks as though there's an emphasis on the centre of that pitch there as the ball goes back to Jay Phillips. And he looks to spray it out to the right-hand side. It's a lovely ball. Oh, Lovely ball there out to Denzel there, plays it inside. Little talk, little shot. Oh, just wide there, but Stretford Paddock showing what they're about there. Bit of class. Buckley Ricketts just couldn't find the bottom corner there. It was very close. A lot better from Paddock here. Yes, as you said, still to play for. And obviously, as you mentioned earlier, Stephen Allison wanting them to see the boys playing it through the middle. Oh, was that a bit of a late one there? Bit of a high foot from North Walton FC, not happy about that one. Standing over Ronaldo, he doesn't look too bothered about it, to be honest. Not a lot of contact there, but it was a oh, bit of is a Oh, is he getting a book in there? He's picking up a yellow card. It's amazing to give a yellow card then, and then other two lads diving in that still Zaki can go off, didn't get a yellow card. Yeah. Referee needs to find a bit of consistency oh. with a shot there. Oh. Great effort there. Who was that there? Is that Ash? That's Ash. Ash with a, he's, the, he's the lad that played against Mason Greenwood, I believe. Yeah, last season. So he's, he's gone up in the world, hasn't he? Playing for the under-23s at Stoke. And almost finding the top corner with that one. It's another book. They like these long balls, don't yeah, they, North Walton? But they are getting a bit of joy out of him. Ooh. And that's a ball over the top there. Is he in here? Oh, he is. 2-0. Lovely finish. Cut through straight for Paddock there. A little bit easy, if you ask me. Long ball, like you said. Couple of runners. And he just ghosts off his man there, Hobson. Oh, tall, Hobson but couldn't, not get, tall couldn't get his head on it. For that and one. then he just sort of caresses it, doesn't yeah. he, past the keeper. Half a lob, half a volley. <sighs> Lovely finish into the bottom corner. Paddock but it's a tough, tough ass now for Stretford Paddock. Paddock needs to make sure they don't go in at half time 3 0 down here. Just tighten it up at the back. Keep getting on the ball, though. Can they actually get a goal before half time? Throw themselves right back into it. That's a great little through ball there. Is he in here now? Ronaldo Brown. <sighs> Just another good save. Oh! And the follow-up is put wide there by Isaac Buckley Ricketts. It's so close. It's the story of the day so far. Ronaldo getting in on that left-hand side, hitting the goalkeeper. You would have put your house on Isaac finishing from there, wouldn't you? You would. Just not happening for him at the minute there. Good shot. The keeper may, may have made a little bit of a meal of it. And uh, Isaac Buckley Ricketts couldn't get the finish. Slices across it a little bit. 
Bit of bad tennis going on here Move in the box. Oh, it's false. Box. Oh, no. What's going on there? What are you appealing for? They're asking for something there. It's half time. Kian. Yes, no. No. Right. Oh, see. Let's go. Yeah. That's all it's going to take. Bit of work. One touch. Come deep when we're playing and be an extra pair of feet. Hams running. Stay high. But be a little narrower. Like almost like a forward two. That's where they're hurting us. We'll do the same to them. Play fast, boys. Jay knows. Play fast. Parks, you've got Oatsy in net behind you now. In net? In net. Because fucking Kian's fucked. That means you're going to have to double that output up front. You was unlucky before. I, I'm seeing you scoring today. So it looks like there's going to be an enforced change here for Stratford Paddock in that Oatsy, who wasn't fit enough to start, or the play centre back. centre back is going to go in goal because the keeper's injured. Yeah, Sam so Pierce, not the best half of his career, but also unfortunately now injured. So it's going to be a really difficult second half. Stratford Paddock obviously have to get back into this game, and they've got a goalkeeper who's a centre back. Maybe Oatsy can do what John O'Shea did for United when we were in goal against Spurs. Do you remember that? Kept a clean sheet. I do remember that. John O'Shea is what we're looking for oh, today. Yeah. How do you think it is? I just don't know. It just comes to me <laughs> in the night. Same division as Stretford Paddock, but of course they w they never played them in the in the regular season due to coronavirus and then the game's been stalled and that kind of thing. So it's the first time playing them today. It's been tricky over the Paddock. top again! Oh, is it a... Oh, was that the, the post there? Was he just wide? I think it was just wide, actually. It's a decent ball there, though. They're getting a little bit of joy playing those balls over the top. And he's caught that sweetly, yes. but it's the wrong side of the post, thankfully. North Walton almost going 3 0 up. Yeah, starting the second half the way they started the first, putting pressure on Stretford Paddock and they're through again here. Just decides to turn back. Oh, oh he's all on his own. Look, he's in another volley. Oh, he's in a bar. Oh, I tell you what, this could have been all over. This but isn't thankfully. The Stephen Alston was looking for, is it, in the second half? No, but could this be the reaction? Buckley Can, Ricketts. Buckley Ricketts goes around the keeper. keeper. Pulls it back. Oh! I thought that was going to be like night. I thought that was going to be like Mark Hughes in 1991 European Cup Winners Cup final when he went round the keeper drilled it across yeah unfortunately though it wasn't to be just seen here as well North Walton's shot again they hit the bar and then this chance for Stretford Paddock FC this was the one to bring him back he into did every, he did the hard bit right didn't he he did yeah. the hard bit just hesitates takes an extra step and the ball goes wider than net and it's been a couple of chances now uh, for Buckley Ricketts it's getting closer for Stretford Paddock it does feel like a goal is on the way as Cam Waters is dispossessed in the centre there but the ball He's recycled that to left hand side to Ronaldo. Just a bit of time on the ball for Paddock, something they need. Yeah, this what, is a, what's just been a really reckless and, and disjointed first five minutes of this second half. It's been hectic, so hasn't it, as well? Really hectic. It's all been happening. That's it's another big, ball. big punt across the angle ball. Is he going to get on the end got of it? Lucky there. Oh, yes. Ronaldo Brown. Does his man. Plays a ball inside. No, in comfortable. It was a bit too comfortable there, really. I think Ronaldo would be a bit upset he didn't get a better ball across. And now it's North Walton again. Turning a shot. Oaksy there. Hey, okay, go on. Down to his left hand side. Say it. John Oakshay, more <laughs> like. <laughs> Is this Rivaldo now on the ball? And he's going through. Rivaldo by name. Rivaldo by nature. Oh, he's just hit a brick. He's hit a wall of North Warden players. Like yes. four of them in front he's of him. He's well then. there, though. Yeah, manages to dig it out to his brother. Oh, oh it's a shot. Mm. It's in the end, isn't it? Bit of a pass back there, yeah. but to be fair, he. He had it all today. He did. Just get into that sort of stage in the game where you need to get a goal, don't you, now? Yeah. Before, if you've got a, what, a real chance of winning the game from Stratford Paddock. Quick feet. Oh, there. the footwork by Buckley Ricketts. And, he's oh, got a bit and it's bounced there. back. No, I think the defender should be able to deal with this. Oh, no, he's been dispossessed. Buckley Ricketts. Oh, yes. Great feet. Yes. Surely. Oh. On top of the line. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, he's been sensational today in everything but the finish. This is incredible footwork Look at from Buckley Ricketts. The goalkeeper, see you later. Centre back, he's on his way as well. And it just hits the captain in the chest there. Aye. The captain's clearance as well, because that would have put Stretford Paddock right back in this game. Fantastic work that from Buckley Ricketts. That was absolutely Painfully sublime. Unlucky. And then the number five there for North, North Walton FC. He certainly earned his uh, stripes today with yes. that clearance. Blue and white stripes. Exactly, my friend. Cam Waters on the ball. No. Takes a heavy one Ooh, there. It's not a, not a soft game, this is it. It's no. a bit tasty. And now North walked in on the ball, out wide. Gets it under control. Crossing. Ooh. Oh, he's oh, free in the oh, middle. It, oh, it's, it's just... Oh, it could have Good fell place. anywhere, that. And it's fallen to the North Walton player who slots for a relatively easy chance here. Just watching this again. He tries to... He turns. 
Paddock FC crowd him out and then the ball just falls to the number 10 and he hits it into the, hits it into the ground not much John Oates Shea could have done about that the one. problem for me there that number 9 is left unmarked inside the 18 yard box so all three Paddock defenders have to go to him and it leaves Ooh. the space on the right hand side and this there's a challenge from Rivaldo he's heating up now isn't it taking no prisons and he's having no, none of it as well North Walton not happy he doesn't look like he's shirking any challenges or any squaring up there as well yeah. We saw a yellow card in the first half for Ronaldo. That's Rivaldo in the wars now yeah, as well. If, if anything I can do, our kid can do too. Yeah. Apparently there. Hey, the Brown brothers making sure they're getting a yellow each. Yep, showing a bit of fight as well, which is nice to see. It is 15 minutes to go now for Paddock. It's got to be a sensational finish to this game to get anything out of it. And Buckley Ricketts is the man to do it if anyone is in the footwork Look at again. Mate. So good on it's the ball. Above, isn't it? And he's gone through again. Has he? That's a penalty. Ref penalty. Penalty referee. Surely. Oh, referee. Theory me, he's having none of it. Just Goes looking at the replay here again. And number 15 here gets none of the. Uh, is it it's though? A tight one VAR, there. that's doubtful that one. I'd it's have to see that one again. He might have got that one right, the referee there. It's a great turn again though. He's causing him all sorts of problems. Can he go Can he go through here, Stretford Paddock? Phillips on the ball. Oh, crowded out again. Oh, blocked. Now North Warden trying to play it out. That they ball can, over the top. They can do this now, can't they? On they the can counter. Sit back and try and counter. This is it. it. Oh, and he's gone Thompson. past his man there. Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, yes, saved by the goalkeeper. Yes, Still again, it's also it. another player. And another see, yeah, North Warden player. Shot from far, well over. I think that's gone. How long did it the take there for a Warden player to, to join those front two? Took about seven or eight seconds. But they can do that. They're 3 0 yeah, up. They don't it. need to join the attack. You keep two men forward, and it stretches the game out. And it could have been another goal for Walkden. Paddock here in danger of seeing this turn into a bit of a bit of a beating. Mm. Well, obviously, not sure whether to use his feet or not. Let the ball drift yeah. out to the left. It's a nice side. little dummy. I knew what he was doing, yeah. and now he started a counter attack. Clever thinking, eh? Techers, oh, as the kids oh, say. Brilliant, Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo here! Oh. oh, he's going through them all. Oh, earns a corner. Ball into the box. It's cleared again. Swinging the leg through it. It's just so not falling it, from here, is it? Sitting on the edge of their own box, and you don't expect anything else from it at this point. The 3 0 up, they're probably tired. Oh, eight Hobson with a header! A chance to redeem himself. And but it I looks think as though it's offside. It must be. Yeah. Hobson there. He had a little look across the linesman, I think he already he did. Knew. It's a lovely header, though. Lob back to the yeah. far post. Back oh, where so it came going from. Going through here. Oh, yes. showing quick feet. Saved by the goalkeeper. They've had chances, haven't they? I mean, that looks like a blatant point. push to me there. Mm. <laughs> and I think it does to the referee as well. See Last here. minute here now. That's it. It's all over. Stretford Paddock nil. North Walkden FC three. Not the second game they wanted in the Rhodes Cup, was it, Joe? No, absolutely not. And you see there, bottom of the table at the moment, it's looking like Stretford Paddock are going to need three wins in a row to have a good chance of getting through this with this group which, which isn't impossible we saw the chances today we saw Buckley Ricketts especially looking mighty dangerous Ronaldo Brown as well looking good going forward it's not impossible but it's looking tricky now for Stretford Paddock disappointing result that. Steve Nelson's got it all to do now to pick his team up for the next game which is against Signal Old Boys very much an Argentinian sort of flavour it sounds this, like it. It. they've seen the Argentina badge the Argentina kit today and then they've got Signal Old Boys next yeah, week who's so. he's up next R River Plate River Plate in more like <laughs> if it's Manchester that'll be a good one uh, but yeah he's, he's getting serious now for Stretford Paddock really must start winning in this tournament there was high expectations going into this and it's not quite lived up to it yet but again as we said so many chances if they can just start converting some of those it's a completely different game so I'm still holding out hope for Stretford Paddock in this tournament we are holding out hope they're still in it and you never know what can happen in this game of football this has been the Stretford Paddock FC commentary I've been Jay Motti that's been Joe Smith don't forget to hit like share and subscribe thanks for watching I think we allowed ourselves to get bullied they played a, a style of football that we've struggled against in the past. It's something that we're working on in training. We had a bit of force changes, I would say, in defence. But I don't think that's any reason um, for why. Well, we've come away with a clean sheet. I think there was a couple of times where we've hit it straight at the goalkeeper or we've just managed to not pull the trigger in time. And you go, is it going to be one of them days? You've seen this in the Premier League all the time. It's just, no matter what we do, we ain't scoring today. I didn't feel like that until 20, 25 minutes to go when Isaacs danced through, feels like everyone in, in the box and and they've managed to keep it out. I have no idea how he's not scored that. It was unbelievable. So, yeah, not happy in the slightest. We've got to work better on being a team. 
we've got to work better on not being a, a bunch of individuals and it'll come. We're a good we've got we've got good talent in the team, it will come.